Good morning from Findlay, Ohio. I made the trek out this morning to Jeffrey's. <laughs> uh, I've only been here once. I loved it. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be warm. Uh, let's go in and check it out. Well, the first thing I noticed are these epic Bakelite bangles. I love the green one. Uh, 125 and 85 on those. Oh my gosh. Look at the Noel Wiener Dog. That's amazing. I have a feeling that's going to be expensive. Yeah, it looks like it says 92. That is so freaking cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah, $92.50. Honestly, if it was less, don't worry, I would have gotten that. Um, but obviously, I cannot do anything with that for resale. Um, some really great Christmas pieces. Of course, I'm spoiled back in Pennsylvania, which kind of is the king of Christmas. But they've got some really great stuff. Look at the Yusugo Japan Santa. It's missing the little Santa that dangles, uh, dangles from it. Um... Gosh, such classic Christmas. Oh my gosh, look at all the uh, Halloween cat cake decorations. Those are so great, and they're only $5 each, which is insane. That's super cheap. Here's another thing I'm obsessed with, the miniature face jug. That is so cool. I love that it's a tiny one. That one's at 75 otherwise I would definitely pick that up too. Look at how fabulous that little paper mache pumpkin is. He is at 75. Is this the booth I got super lucky at last time? I don't remember. Maybe not. Um, there was one vendor in here that had so much crazy stuff. This case tells me it might be. Holy cow. Look at that. That looks Italian. I could be wrong, but really neat. And there it is. Look at this jar. Mid-century cat apothecary jar, 45. That's probably about full retail, but that is pretty special. Oh my gosh, look at this little hors d'oeuvre pick and drink marker with the little plastic bubblegum charms. I've never seen that either. All right, there's something really special here. Um, it's the tooth tie clasp, 10 karat white gold. I'm trying to see what the emblem is on it. That is so freaking cool. Uh, I've been getting super into morning jewelry. The hair work, that's a watch chain it looks like. Um, morning chain. Yeah, hair work, that's different. And then this cameo cut pendant, that's gorgeous too. And then here, is that another braided hair piece? Yeah, and look at this one. The hair work on that is amazing. It's probably like 10 karat gold. I might have to get into this case. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get in here. Look at all the headless dolls. <laughs> and then down here in this case, there's some really amazing, um, I love the body on that German bisque doll. And uh, the collars and cuffs, Victorian box, that's gorgeous as well. Um, I didn't pick up any of the hair work pieces, I should say, yet. Uh, he advised me that there would be more to come, and the one that had the tag flipped over was actually a newer piece, which I wasn't sure how I felt about. That is gorgeous. That cranberry piece that looks like it might be Moser, that's at 150. Um, wow, I was like kind of nervous about driving all the way here <laughs> instead of doing my normal loop through Cincinnati, but pretty cool pretty happy with my decision. These are gorgeous. These little clip earrings. Look at those. Earrings don't sell that well for me. Otherwise, I would definitely pick more up because I see some interesting ones and they're usually priced for low, but I feel like they're priced for low because they don't sell as well as other things. Some more really interesting dolls in here. Oh, this is a fun bracelet. Look at that. It's in the original box. Or at least half the box. Little porcelain piece. And then above it, notice this half doll. She's really pretty. 45 on that one. 
in a glove box. So special. How cool is that uh, smoking set? The cigarette box, ashtray, and lighter. The pagoda, that is so neat. I've never seen one that intricate before. 75 on that. Look at this naughty strawberry shaker. That is too funny. Oh my gosh, and the rubber duck. He is so messed up. I love him. Almost looks like it could be a rumpel. He's at 18. He's weathered perfectly. Look at this wind up toy. He's got such great character. 50 on him. He's got like a weird muzzle on his face. He's fantastic. Some more really special tiny Christmas decorations. The thing I actually most like is this tiny handmade tree. I'm assuming it's handmade. It might be a Japan bees, but not. it looks like altered with all the beads in it. That's $10. That's really sweet. Let's see if we can find anything else in this case. This snowman is pretty fantastic. He's a 30. I love all the snowmen. My mom used to love snowmen. It was her favorite Christmas decoration. The Donald Duck ornaments, those are fantastic. Some really great jewelry in here. I love the daisy brooch, but I'm actually really into that little sterling and turquoise cuff bracelet. Oh my gosh, look at you. 38 on him. And then I would get $3 off with the 10%. He's fantastic. I can see he's not made the best, but I don't know. He's pretty great. He might come with us. Also, I'm dead obsessed with this tramp art dresser box. That is so cool. The detail in that is amazing. Oh, wow. Originally, I was looking at these lamps with their super unique shades. Then I saw these guys, the black cat candy containers. How cool, I've never seen those before. Probably German, 225 each. I love that mohair monkey hiding back there. And then over here, hold on, let's see if I can comfortably, uh... so Mickey is so great. I usually see the uh, dwarves, but I don't ever see Mickey. That's probably why he's so much more expensive. Um, look at this doll with the porcelain body, that's wild. Look at this super aggressive <laughs> perfume bottle. It's only $15. Looking for damage, that's pretty crazy. Hand cut Japan, that's really cool. I really like the, um, the look of that. Even though it's clear, I think it's regal enough that I'd do well on it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up, but a lot of people always say, why'd you go past the dolls? And honestly, it's just because um, I don't know enough. And I used to sell them for crazy. And I feel like they went down a little. But I cannot help but notice these. Oh my god. $38 on this Armand Marcel doll. In pristine condition. With the leather straw filled body. And the original sticker on it. Thirty-eight doll. I, I, I'm gonna take this. I think it's amazing. Uh, I know the doll market isn't what it used to be, but there's still those collectors out there, and she's really special. Um, her friend here is pretty amazing too. She's at fifty-five. What is she? She might be a. Oh gosh, another German one. Wants to, oh, her wig. <laughs> we'll fix that. Wow, so cool fix her right up. There's some really amazing things in here. Well, I grabbed a basket, which I should have done in the first place, but on my way back, I noticed this duck. It's a single shaker. He's very unusual. I remember that. The uh, rock art with the cats. That's fun. But below it, what really has me going are these uh, glasses, especially the vintage pink glitter one. Those ones are at 22. That's a little close. There's a little room. Um, and of course the ones next to it, the super 50s ones, those are so fun. A couple interesting glass pieces up here. One is this one that's shaped like a giant top hat at 45. That's really pretty. It almost looks like Lundberg, but kind of a weird shape and size. The other thing is this one. This is a very strange opaline and cranberry vase. That's only $20. I might pull that out. Oh. 
standby. Check out this miniature check face. That is so cool. I've never seen one that tiny with the, the colors like that. And there's another one hiding back there. The black with the orange. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get a key for this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Um, the hand-painted brooch is absolutely gorgeous, but it's whatever it, that giant fluted vase is in the back. I want to say it looks like Moser. And then the opalescent piece, that almost looks like it could be, hmm, I don't know, I'm going to say maybe even Italian, I'm not sure. And over here, some more really different pieces. The biscuit jar back there in the yellow is gorgeous. I'm a little short for this little pick holder in pink. I don't know if you can see it. Another Murano piece. This one looks like Gibson, maybe, the blue. But my favorite, of course, is that uh, Millefiore piece, but that's at 175. Tell me that these are what I think they are. They almost look like lighters. They are. How cool. $90 on the pair. That is so cool. I've seen them as perfume bottles, but I've never seen them as lighters. That's really fantastic. And then back here, I believe these are Morgantown glass, commonly mistaken for Blinko. Very cool. I'm gonna say Morgantown. I can't read the font on that. I feel like Morgantown is one of the most underrated glass. Um, that and Blendo. Now, I'm really interested in what's going on in this case. It looks magical. Look at the bowler. Look at his eyes. He's fantastic. And then there I see what looks to be the Florenza turtle box. I'm assuming it's Florenza, but above it. Look at the little French perfumes. I'm assuming they're French. It looks like Limoges. $50 on the pair, perhaps? Some really pretty pieces in here, too. I love the gold vase in the back. Um, but I'm surprisingly most into this yellow barber bottle. That is so neat. Now here, I will say, every time I see like a kind of brownish, well, this is more, more gray, brownish gray uh, piece of glass that has age to it, I always hit it with a black light ever since I found my first piece of gray uranium, which I didn't know was a thing, but very cool. Also, this appears to be some type of memorial piece. Look at the flower shadow box. That's gorgeous. That one's a 255. And then they have one that appears to be for a wedding over here. That is gorgeous as well. I love stuff like that. Some super funky mid-century lamps. I love these shades on this and the body. It's like a flying saucer. This is pretty. Looks like Bristol glass, maybe. The hand painting, super nice. Fenton, 1750. Lima, Ohio. It's, can you imagine stopping at a gas station and getting that as a souvenir? <laughs> Not that I'm saying that's what happened, but I'm assuming it was something along the lines of that back in the day. Maybe it wasn't gas. Maybe this is a very uninformed situation I'm <laughs> discussing with myself right now. Oh my gosh, these lacquer Japanese jewelry boxes. These used to go nuts. Well, I've seen the Austrian moose. But I've never seen the monkey. 1900 ceramic, made in Germany, $19. He's fantastic. He's got crazy age to him. And then this one's even better, <laughs> honestly. It's so old. This one is Bavaria. So fun. I can't imagine people having that kind of sense of humor back then. Well, I was wrong before. This is the booth I went nuts in last time. Holy cow. Look at those Italian, I'm assuming they're Italian, mid-century, modern blue vase, $34.50 each. That's nuts. I recognize it by the uh, Murano dancers. 165 and 185, right? Yes. Oh, they're so pretty. And I'm surprisingly super into this jar. I wonder if that's check. Very cool. And uh, that's definitely, I would say, check. 52 on that basket. That's a really pretty one. Maybe not, though. That's just my guess. 
I'm excited to get into here. Um, I know the case is at the end. I kind of went overboard in last time. Some really nice enamel over copper pieces. I'm particularly into this one. And I don't know why, but these are really, really calling me. <laughs> Strange shape. I think that's why. Here's another thing I've seen kind of an upwards trend in. I feel like Wallace nutting has become kind of, for lack of better words, maybe mainstream. Um, I've definitely seen him gain some popularity. This Rose Bowl is amazing. That one's at 34. And then this one with the kind of purple opalescence to it. That's really pretty too. That one's at 27. And just as I suspected, the purple one has a surprise. It's green. I don't know if you can tell in the camera light. Straight uranium. And then above it, check out these Murano glass birds. Wow. Some more really great Christmas. I love that girl with the wreath over her head. She's at 48. The Shopper Girls, that whole th thing. Shopper Girls is a thing. Christmas Shopper Girls go for crazy money. And then here, the Italian, there's a couple Italian ornaments. Um, I'm most into that one. I think she's fantastic. I'm assuming she's Italian. Now, here's my first, I need this right now. Um, I love this uh, vase in the Czech pottery in the back. The little mini vase is fun. I might check that out because it's only $2.50 and I'm getting into the case because I just love this Tango vase. It is like electric in color. I feel like it's even brighter than they normally are. That's so cool. And the flamingos are at 58 each, but that Tango vase, man, it's kind of calling me. What is this down here? Oh, look at the Doug Weller. This is really cool though. This Murano red orange. Wow. Almost looks like Mandarin um, color, but it's got like, looks like it's got like blood in it. We, we also can't ignore the Italian poodles. That one's at 45, or they're not poodles. They're just dogs, I'm not sure. Uh, this one says as is $10. Let's see what Zaz is about it. I see it's got a couple nicks in the spaghetti like they usually do. The Royal Dalton cat is pretty fantastic as well. This is so cool. Okay, I'll be back to pick him up. Thank you. And then the dog, it's just got a little roughness around him, but for $10, he's got great character. Crazy amount of salt and pepper shakers going on here. Um, it's a mix of contemporary and old. I was looking at the uh, snowman, so cute. In Japan, some really nice stuff going on back here. Most into these, surprisingly. Lots of pottery and lots of fenton. I really like that uh, kind of minty seafoam green melon vase back there. Dude, look at that sculpture. It's a crazy lucite piece. It looks very expensive. They have it at 1500 and uh, definitely looks artisan designer for sure. This is a fun booth. Very eclectic. It's kind of tight back here. Let's see. Hmm. That's a pretty blue vase. It's only 10 bucks too. I'm not sure about that actually. Much more interested in this booth. Check this out. The memory jug. Looks like some little bake light beads and buttons. The wood head is very different, but it's actually whatever this is. Puzzle ball pin cushion. That is very cool got a certain look to it. And then the apple up there, that's beautiful. Looks like silk covering it. It is silk. Well, that's why it looks like it. <laughs> 29 on that. And some, a collection of ornaments. Some are super early looking. And look at this case. How fun is this? Some really great flocked pieces. The artist rabbits at 95. The duck candy container. 79. The teddy bear is kind of different. I've never seen that. It looks ceramic. It's very different. And uh, some little sheep. 
the uh, ladybug is pretty fantastic. Some different Halloween. I love the skeleton stick. That is so cool. Oh man, look at the owl lantern. He's got a great color to him. Um, I've seen ones like that in like plain. Oh my God, look at the gingerbread candy pumpkin guy. He's everything. But also this, the string holder with the pump. It's a pumpkin with a face string holder. That seems really important, 135. That actually seems like a really good price. I don't know much about it, but my educated guess is for a collector, that's a no brainer. It does not seem like something that's easy to come by. And I'm super into this red dog pull toy. This pink piece is cool. Like the shape on that, it's got some enamel painting on it. Looks check and it's $12, so that will come with us. I am admittedly more a fan of the daintier Murano pieces. However, this one, holy cow, and it's only $35. That opaline weighs a ton. There's a day where these would have sold for crazy, crazy money. I feel like these have gone down a little, but I don't know, sometimes I see them on the Bega Wild still. That's a particularly nice one, I will say. That's a steal. This is so chaotic back here, and I'm so here for it. <laughs> I love everything about what's happening here. Look, look at this hat. Feels like that might actually be Mary Poppins' hat. I see something with my name on it. <laughs> it's a groundhog. I love him. <laughs> A collection of really great Bakelite and Lucite, but I must admit the thing I'm most interested in is the Bakelite finial um, for a lamp. That one's at 85. Definitely something I'm going to be on the lookout for for myself. This is kind of a chaotic case too. <laughs> um, half of it's the glare, half of it's just it's that chaotic. I love it. I'm so here for it. Some really nice paperweights, but of course you know what I'm most interested in is the J. Chen Ferriswell Tin Litho. One thing I've noticed is if you're a crafter, uh, this is your paradise. Take note. Did I just startle myself by turning around and almost walking into <laughs> younger Elvis? <laughs> um, also noteworthy, I love the little boudoir lamps. Uh, Jean bottle is epic too. It's crazy, it's got the stopper. I love the mermaid fishing lure, so great. I just did like a triple take. I thought that this uh, cranberry glass had that hair comb as a stopper. And I was like, holy cow, I'm buying that. Um, but alas, it's not that at all. Uh, some really different stuff in here though. I do love the celluloid hair fans. Um, this Lot style vase, that's only 49. Uh, the Burmese vase is 39 as well. Now that's pretty fantastic. That looks like an old one. Um, I'm definitely going to get in here. The other thing I see is this T. Steinman art glass vase. That's really different. A little art, another. Oh, there's some really good stuff in here. Um, what's happening with these glasses? 3D sunglasses, maybe? I love the red wing fish tray. It's so neat. And then this paperweight with the gold flag. It's kind of like spider webs. Oh, it's got an original sticker and it's super old, $25. Yeah, we're gonna get in here and look at the crazy Murano doorknob paperweight. Well, I was going to look for a buzzer to get the key. And then I remembered that this was a thing. So I think I'm gonna take my time looking through this first. Um, the chances of seeing something else are, oh my God. Oh my God, that iridescent vase, and it's only $39. That's amazing. That is coming with me. Let's see if we can find any other treasures that are not in a case before I go ring the bell, because I feel like I'm, I've entered the aisle where it's case after case of things that I'll need assistance with. This is very cool. 94 signed, $20. That's definitely different. L. Long's draft. I'm not sure how to pronounce that or what exactly it says, but it's, it almost looks like it could be neodymium glass. It's signed and it's unusual and it's $20. It's also coming with us. 
on these trips, I've strived to uh, pick up different things, things that I don't see anywhere else, which has been one of the joys about taking these trips. Um, this is a really pretty pottery vase. It's only eight dollars. But speaking of pottery, <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack here. The frog with the sneakers, <laughs> the sponge holder. <laughs> I love him. Look at the eyelashes. This little Fenton bowl, how funny. It looks like somebody put a little Meyer cord decal on it. How cute. The decal itself has some wear as they usually do. <laughs> Donkey, man, Meyer cord made the best graphics. Wow. I'm glad I kind of knew that this was the thing. Otherwise, I'd be super overwhelmed. <laughs> this is a neat one. $15. Looks like maybe Czech or Bohemian. I'm not sure. Super crazy art glass egg situation happening. $55 on that. Lots of Alexandrite. Absolutely beautiful. And then this green bowl, that looks like Glass Eye Studio, $20, definitely is, it's a good deal. Weirdly into this tiny inkwell, another little crystal perfume bottle, that one's German, and $8, and seems to be in good con- oh, no, it's got a huge chip, just kidding. Check this out, and what's cool about this uh, glass bottle is it's got uranium in it really pretty. I pulled this piece. This is probably the thing I'm most excited about, and that was a steal on that Burmese. Nice. Well, I have not made it 25% of the way through, and I have picked out some out-of-this-world stuff. Look, we have an Italian pig. $17 on Italian pig. That's a pretty important. And then also this white glass piece. That is gorgeous. That looks like, I can't tell if it says 120 or 20, but I want to say 20. Looks like we're gonna get in here. And what do we have here? Little Fenton Melon Jack in the pulpit. I'm actually really into this teeny tiny vase for $2. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the Dave Fetty hanging hearts. That's a 229. God, that's so pretty. Now, <laughs> look at that. That is gorgeous with the blue hand painting. Uh, I did pick up that gorgeous iridescent um, antique that white iridescent uh, kind of melon rose bowl thing. This is kind of a fun set. Seem to have lost my basket somewhere along the way. Um, this is cool. That's only $7.50 on that, and I love the color. That will be coming with me. More Christmas. It's kind of funny music box though i don't know why but i've decided to stray from music boxes this is a different thing i'm not sure what's going on there 12 dollars confetti paperweight vase diffuser though maybe mm, maybe not and then this bell is really pretty the mary gregory i don't even mary, bells don't do well and mary gregory has never been hot for me but I don't know why I've been noticing it more. And what do we have here? Is it gonna be chipped? Cause I see it's $7. That is definitely Thumper. Yep, seven bucks on Thumper. Well, that's kind of hard to say no to. That's coming with us. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, look at this Santa. Ventriloquist Santa, $38. I'm really channeling my inner, I'm coming home to my boyfriend and bringing that and him just <laughs> not into it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm really into this case. It's kind of magical feeling to it. This is a really interesting booth. Oh my God, the snowman head though, stop. <laughs> How much do they have on that? I'm too short. Oh my gosh. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. But I kind of need it. <laughs> um, this is a different salt and pepper shaker. How cool is that? Some really different plush dolls here. <laughs> I love the brat doll. This one. That one's different too. But what I'm most into, surprisingly, is the little... Oh, it's not as what I, exactly what I thought. 
Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> Porky. $4 on Porky. He's fantastic. Gum massager, though. What does that mean? I'm a little turned off by the description. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to know. Um, this is a great Santa. He's 20. Look at the bears. The three bears. Those are so fun. Oh my, look at this pose doll. How did I not notice this? She is gorgeous. However, this material does not travel well. It's amazing that it's in as good a condition as it is because it flakes so easily. Um, here, I love the little ashtray set. Celluloid prayer book. I was hoping that might be in a foreign language. Uh, the Bone China Raccoons. Those are only $3 each. All right, I think I need to find a basket. I love this little horse. Oh my God, this ornament is everything. He is so sweet. $7. Somebody needs him. <gasps> Speaking of somebody needs him, look at this ornament. $8. He's fantastic. Well, it might be a little much to pay for both those things, but I just can't say no. Here's another little special case. See the Apple tape measure. I can't see the price on it. I might pull that out depending on what else I find in here. Love the lampshade. Really pretty jar. What is that? That's cool. <laughs> That's very cool. Um, yeah, it looks like that's uranium as well. I'm like just blown away by this weird vase. Look at those shades. I think they are loads. Those are amazing. And the shape of the top of these is really different. Uh, Bristol, but they look like collars and a shirt. <laughs> Hello, weird monkey. <laughs> He's been through some trying times, it seems. He is at $6. I guess he's a puppet. He's pretty fantastic. It's a little strange texture in the fur, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is a really pretty hand-painted bowl. Four dollars. What is this booth? Or fours for eight bucks? That's crazy. This looks like it could be Swedish. All right, this has got my attention. I don't know what this is. Blood Center. That's the graphic on that and the fact that it's heart-shaped. I don't know why I'm super into it. Some really nice old photos. I love cases like this. What is that? The coin necklace. Here's an interesting little dog. <laughs> Eight dollars. He's kind of special. Some really pretty cut bohemian pieces right there. The mantle lusters. The pair of vases. So pretty. Oh my god. Look at this necklace. Three dollars. He's amazing. That's coming with us. Also see those Murano earrings at six dollars. Those are so pretty that I feel like I'm just gonna get them. All right. We finally made it to the second half. At least I think I'm in the second half already. <laughs> Maybe not. Check out this crazy celluloid hair comb. Some interesting tin types. Nice little array of vanity items up here. This is a fun little box. Oh, it's got the blush and everything in it. 35 on that. Oh, crazy alligator. <laughs> and here, what do we have? A little pendant. Not exactly what I was hoping for. What's this paperweight? $75, Mark Warga. Interesting. Here's something important. Check it out. Fab Four Beatles pin set, $100. How cool. Ooh. Interesting. Baby. Oh, man. Victorian locket. That's different. 65. I was beginning to move on, and then this caught my eye. What is this dog? Oh, he is just fantastic, isn't he? 
already know I'm into this booth. Really cool display. Oh, this is like a whole thing I'm getting into here. I'm gonna start here and work my way over. Maybe work my way down is better. I love these little guys. I have 15. The apple heads are 20. Okay, so all a little close to what I would get out of them. I'm looking for ones that I haven't seen or had before. The cats are pretty fun. Those are only $8.50 in the wood rabbits. Those are hit or miss. Sometimes they go crazy. Sometimes they fall flat. Um, and for here, this is a really pretty pink glass ashtray. Only $20 on that. That's a deal. A little German cat. That's a good deal as well at $12.50. But I'm really into the apple. Butter dish. That's at $45 couple Fenton cats. Wait, $12. 30. I'm not sure why that one's 12. Hmm. $12.50. I feel like that's a steal. This egg is kind of different. Made in Germany. That's a pretty color. Ooh, is that Morgantown glass? What's happening with this bottle? Mid-century rainbow, no, rain, bolus, um, bolus, whatever that word is, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, embarrassingly enough. Some neat Christmas decorations, I love the tin with that reindeer. Look at all the fun little tinies, oh, Fenton Snowman, 45, that seems like a pretty good deal. Some great decanter toppers perfume holders. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's happy to be here. Here's another booth I'm super into. Um, the Bristol glass bottle is amazing. That's only $20. And look at this owl. 24 Viking. That's a good deal. Uh, gorgeous bride's basket. But I'm more into this. 32. Hand painted. And this black pottery vase with the geese on it is different. Barbaria, $16. That's pretty cool. This is a neat too. Pool pottery. I guess that's made in England? Yes. Very neat. I thought it was German, honestly. Uh, when I saw it before I saw the tag. And that's a fun little condiment set. Absolutely beautiful Murano paperweight, but I'm more into the Sabino glass squirrel. So pretty. They have the butterfly as well. Oh god, I just realized how much I have left. It's way more than I thought. I was drawn over here by this little tin litho monkey. Looks like Jay Chen. And then up here, the most dear freaking tin litho tea set. Queen of Hearts, maybe. Oh, it says Queen of Hearts right on the tag, duh. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying. I just can't. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> oh, help me. Now, I did pick up normal Santa. What is going on with this bowl? That is so freaking cool. Probably weighs 100 pounds. There it is. Check it out. A little perfume lamp. It looks like it's missing a couple pieces. Maybe the chain that pulls them out. That's such a great deal though, as is, yeah. Now this is a gorgeous rose bowl. Unusual color on that. 35. It's really pretty. Oh my god. Look at that Tiffin piece. That is amazing. $69. That seems super cheap. It's got like Chatelet vibes. Oh, it's ridiculous. That is, that is the centerpiece. I just found the coolest freaking locket. Look, it's a double locket. Those are so hard to come by with the Florida Lee. $23. That's amazing. That's got to come with me. Now I'm kind of curious if this is the booth they told me I'd like. I don't think it is. But that that's key worthy. 
Well, I got the Coro brooch. What's interesting about it is that, uh, it was Coro, 1950s, made to look like the Victorian one. Um, very unusual. Now, speaking of unusual, check out that sterling dog pin. He is unwell. The Whiting and Davis snake bracelet. That's amazing. And then over here, I love the little child's Bakelite bangle. Here's a special little case. Um, the thing that stands out most to me is this <laughs> disturbed, squished face Santa Claus. <laughs> the micro mosaic ring. That's gorgeous. That's at 15. Above it looks like a Bakelite swan, and it kind of looks like it says $3 on it. It might have some damage at the end, but either way, I'm going to be checking that out. Let's see what else we can find in this case. Oh my god, look at that bracelet. Looks like it says three dollars. Might be as is. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but it's really pretty with the green, the filigree with the green. I'm strangely attracted to the German baptism card. That's a pretty carnival glass face up there. That is thirty-seven fifty. Super into what's happening here. The felt pumpkins are fun. More of Crafter's Paradise. Oh. What a great owl. Ooh, okay. Check this out. Beautiful. What I'm assuming is Westmoreland. Slide glass. Oh my gosh. I just look behind me. I am obsessed with the uh, satin finish Murano mini vase. That's at 75. And of course the little goat paperweight. Those are usually pretty spendy. A little doll is great, but it's this dog that has my attention. What great character he has. He's a 38. I got the most amazing, like, little do uh, wind-up dog like that at the heart. I already see a couple epic Fenton pieces. One is going to be the Dave Fetty Hanging Hearts vase. That's at 250. The Burmese jar. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And then over here... Look at the rose bowl. There's something seriously wrong with this dog. Epic, epic, epic. <laughs> I was like, that looks like Bakelite. And sure enough, it is. It's at 225, but that is a deal for a collector. And then over here, look at the little frog box. That's at 24, that is fantastic. I've only ever seen that one once and it was way more than that. But still, I feel like at 24, I can't really do much with it. Some interesting little tinies. Ooh, the pulled feather one is neat. Another really great uh, Christmas case here. And I love the Santa planter. It looks like he's the Nodder version. And at 4250 if you're a collector, that's a steal. There's even a little room for me, but I hate shipping them. Holy hanging hearts. Check out that lampshade. A couple noteworthy things. It looks like that might be... It says card holder. I thought it was a toilet seat cover at first. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there, actually. Very cute. I'm very distracted by weird Santa thing. Vintage handmade Santa. $16. There's something very off about that. Kind of into it. Fenton Santa. $29.50, a little close actually. A really cool piece. God, that's gorgeous. The red slack glass. I remember this booth. Well, the first thing I see is definitely the reindeer, the deer salt and pepper shakers. $20 for the set is a really, really great deal. I just had a set kind of similar. So for that price, I'm going to leave them. But someone's like definitely going to snag those up. That's very strange. That's not what I thought. That's actually different. I'm um, not sure what's going on there. Uh, over here, neat little pottery piece. Sea Ridge. Interesting. That's cool. And above it, can't help but notice these weird salt and pepper shakers. $5 for the set. It's got a little chip. And it continues. Uh, Lucite, 27 on the napkin holder. Some really great vases. I love this blue one. 79. 
That one's different. It looks Japanese. I've never seen that before. And over here, I love these little beaded grapes. More Christmas. They never have too much Christmas. And, uh, hmm. The cats are fantastic. 29 on the tall one. And what about this guy? 22. Another really pretty Fenton vase. Oh, I forgot to get... Oh, dang it. I forgot to get my stuff from the heart that I left there after Oktoberfest. Whoops. Big whoops. Um, might have to settle up. Uh, this owl mug is fantastic. This is only $7. Holy cow. Not sure which way to turn back here. More danger ahead. Holy cow. Look at all this Christmas. Like I said, this place is a crafter's dream. It's also your dream if you like Christmas stuff. $60 on the Fat and Santa, but what is that one? Holy cow, I've never seen it before. $55. Uh, that needs to come out immediately. That is so cool. I've never even seen that fairy lamp before. It came to like $50 after the discount, and then I saw the Christ. Now I see he's got a broken. Dang, this is amazing back here. But I can't lie, all my attention is now focused. I know he's musical, but look at this guy. $50, pull cord, yuletide. The graphics on the box is amazing. Oh, he's fantastic. Well, I've been here for over two and a half hours, and I'm starting to feel it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like I need to take a break soon, but I'm going to finish up. It's just becoming a bit <laughs> overstimulating, as I'm sure you can agree. I love the little stife Jocko. He is at uh, 70, just kidding. And then the Pinocchio, that's a harder to find one in good condition. Even he says as is, but I'd say he's doing all right. Oh my gosh, look at this girl, the roly poly. She's fantastic. something else very cool check this out this is bakelite crib toy 45 i almost wonder if that could be a necklace then check out this tiny costa boda glass vase that is so cool that's at 30 reminds me of like check glass no way it's the royal deuce cats 95 and 95 though that's right about what I'd get out of them after fees. They're so great, though. And then the Arabia Finland cat pitcher. It's kind of hard to find in good condition. Again, 45 is about what I'd get out of that after fees, but it's so fantastic. And, of course, I rem um, recognize this vendor from the heart. Love that big light bangle with the cutouts. Some really crazy, crazy glass. If I remember correctly, Correctly, she wrote a really good book on glass. That's amazing. Back to Fenton. So much Fenton. Well, that was Jeffrey's. Uh, I managed to spend a good portion of my day there, but boy, was it worth it. How much fun. Uh, I'm going to get on the road and head to somewhere different, and I will see you guys when I get there.